is going on? Gunners Lab coming at you with the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Gun Game. But I'm actually in theater mode showing you all this gameplay right here, right now. I'm going to be doing a commentary over it because it was the closest I've ever got to 20 and 0, all right? I died later on in the game. I ended up going 20 and 3 overall, but I got so close to the perfect 20 kill, 0 death gun game that I've been trying to get for so long. Now, I almost died right here, but I'm able to get to the top of the greenhouse. And I chill at the top of the greenhouse for quite a while. You're about to see in the upcoming few kills, people literally just rush me through this hole from the bottom of the greenhouse to the top of the greenhouse, and I get a mad amount of kills. So you see someone right here below me, that's the first victim of the hole. I call it a trap hole in the game. People literally are just running through the bottom of the greenhouse and then jumping up through the hole and I was getting mad kills. But anyways, I died later on in the video. I go 20 and 3 overall. A long time ago, I had my best gun game so far in Black Ops 3. I either went 20 and 1 or I went 20 and 2. But it was on friends. It was a while back. So be sure to go check out that video if you want to see it. But right here, I'm going to get another kill with one shotgun and then I'm going to get another kill with another shotgun. So as you can see, people are just jumping up out of that hole. So I figured at this point, I'm just going to chill at top greenhouse. I'm getting a mad amount of kills right here. It's not like someone else is taking the lead from me and pulling ahead by a few kills. So I need to play aggressively. I'm just chilling at top greenhouse, controlling the game, being as patient as I can, letting the other players in the game rush me. So whenever you play gun game on breach or free fall on breach, I find that most people spawn in the back of both of the bases or they spawn at bottom broken or bottom left. Nobody really spawns in the B bomb room, which is behind me over here, which is next to greenhouse. Nobody really spawns there, so I don't really have to worry about getting shot in the back. It's been a while since anybody rushed me here at Dodd Greenhouse, but I am being patient, and eventually this guy is going to push me. So the reason I have an advantage right here at Todd Greenhouse is because when they're jumping up through that hole, they're probably not going to be aiming down their sights, so they're going to have to get a hit fire on me. And if they're coming from the back of the base, then they're going to have to run along that sign, and it's going to be tougher for them to aim. So I'm getting a mad amount of kill, getting a mad amount of kills right here. You see, I almost choked with this KN44. Someone's going to run along this sign. I run out of ammo, but I get a few hit markers, and I go for the melee, get the kill somehow, and then I get the, the cleanup kill in the back of the base with the KM44 onto the M8. But I wasn't going to chill there in the back of the base with this M8 recon. I was going to Todd Greenhouse. It's where I have been doing work for pretty much the entire game up to this point. So I just got back in my power position. If you look at the constant mini-map, yeah, you can kind of see it even though I have an overlay, but there's someone bottom greenhouse under me right now So since I have a recon side on this M8 I know I need to put some distance between them in order to, to create an advantage for myself And because I create that advantage for myself, they get a hit mark on me with that silenced shotgun So I get hit marks with that silenced shotgun all the time and they got one on me Right there, the Shima is my least favorite gun in gun game. I've said it before and I'll say it right here right now. Again, I just had to hit by that kid for the kill. Forget the thermal sight, not gonna goof around with that. But now I got the Gorg on and I hear someone boosting up behind me. I'm gonna lay down shot and get the kill. It only takes two bullets to kill him with the Gorg on. I'm, I don't know if it's every time, but I know it's almost every time. But anyways, I'm able to get the kill with that. Still have a comfortable lead right here by two kills, and I'm dominating top greenhouse. So right here, the dingo with the laser sight dude's going to push me from the back of the base. I actually thought he was going to be low on the greenhouse, but he was wallowing, so that sort of tripped me out a little bit. But now that I have the sniper, and I know nobody's going to spawn behind me at this B bomb site building, I come over here to hang out with the sniper, and I'm going to kill someone either bottom greenhouse or top greenhouse. Well, I already know where they were when they got the kill, but you'll see in just a second. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally pressed left trigger and we backed, we backed up. So we're going to see that Shiva hit fire kill again, and now we're going to see the grill gun kill again, and then we'll get back to the sniper in just a moment. My bad, let me go ahead and set my controller down, that way I don't make that mistake again. So there's the grill gun kill. I guess we're going to see the BR, or we're going to see the Dingo hit fire kill again as well. Come on now. Let's go. I guess technically I could fast forward, I could have like cut the clip out. But you know what? We're just going to roll with it. We're going to watch these three kills again. So here you're going to see me look down. The dude was well running. I'm able to get the hit by a kill because it does have a laser sight. And now we have the snipe rifle. So someone's either going to come bottom greenhouse or top greenhouse. I just got to be ready when the time comes to take the shot. Whenever you have a sniper rifle, you just got to go for the shot, right? You can't delay. You just got to trust your ability. So right here, scoping, bang, headshot with the locust. Alright, now I'm chilling watching the other spawn as well. And hit marker, bro. I couldn't believe it in the middle of the game. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my gosh. 
this is the end. But then I end up getting the second shot to register, so I clean up the kill with the SVG. And now we're on to the rocket launcher. This is where it all goes bad. So we saw that guy run to the middle right there. He wall ran. I'm sort of chilling right here in the B bomb site room, waiting for someone to rush me. But I lose. I don't want to say I lose patience, but I saw someone wall run to middle and I got too aggressive going for the kill and then I got shot in the side. So I see this guy running middle. I thought he was going to land. Okay, let's go back real quick. I thought this dude, we're going to we're gonna get there in a second, but I thought the dude was going to land on the middle platform for some reason in my mind. He was landing on like the middle part of the map, but for some reason he wall ran and then he jumped top broken. Like in my mind, this dude, he was landing top middle 100%. So I went for the kill. I was going to shoot a rocket at top middle. But as soon as I saw him go top broken, I was like, oh my gosh. And I sort of panicked a little bit. And then I started to go bottom greenhouse. I, Looking back, I should have 100% gone top greenhouse since I was in that position. But I went bottom greenhouse and there was a guy down there and I wasn't able to get the rocket off. So right here, I was going to shoot top mid. Right here, I was like, oh my gosh. And then like... It, it just went downhill. So I ended up dying right there. And now you're going to have to see me sit through the death screen right here. I actually dropped my controller. I was like, oh my gosh. How did I choke that? But I have the rocket out right here. I'm eventually going to get a kill with the rocket, with the knife, and with my fist. I go 20 and 3 in this game. 20 kills, 3 deaths. So not my best game ever. I legit, this was by far like the most legit 100% realist chance I've ever had at going 20 and 0 here in Black Ops 3. This is a pretty sick kill right here. I'm able to knife the dude and then stay alive. But then right here with the punches, at this point I'm just like, dude, let's get this game over with. I was slightly frustrated, but I'm going to get killed right there. I'm going to spawn back here in the back of the base. If I hit the back one, what am I? I'm 20 and 3, so the next kill I get is with my fist. Now I am I already have 20 kills because remember I shot the dude with the KM44. And then I had to melee him. Anyways, 21 and 3, decent game. Not, oh, I was so close, dude. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. New videos every single day here on my channel. I'm going to live. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.